Hey, it's Alicia from a music blog, yeah? And I'm Jimmy from Foles, and uh, I'm fishing currently, sort of. Sort of fishing in Toronto, yeah. and you are watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Leisha from Ambi, and we are interviewing and fishing with Jimmy from Foles. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming all the way out to wherever we are over here. It's my pleasure. So yeah. you are now touring North America here in Toronto tonight. How has this tour been treating you so far? Uh, yeah, it's been really, really good. We're right at the end of it now. It's uh, we've got Toronto today and Chicago is after tomorrow, and it's been a bit of a slog. It's been a seven and a half weeker, and uh, we've taken in South America as well. So, uh, but yeah, it's been really good. But I think we're you know. We're ready to go home. <laughs> you have had a crazy year tour-wise. You played Coachella, Lollapalooza, Hangout Festival, and many others. We got to catch you at Way Home, which was just an awesome performance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that seems like ages ago now. Doesn't it? Yeah, it really <laughs> does. Crikey, yeah. When you look back on your summer, whether it's the shows, venues, and fan encounters, what are some highlights that come to mind? Um, the biggest uh, highlights probably got to be, like, we, uh, we headlined Reading Festival back home, which was good. That was great. Uh, so that's probably like the, the biggest show highlight. I don't know, all the other stuff just like honestly just blurs into into just a big smudge. <laughs> like right now, I can't really remember anything. Yeah. Well, I saw when you were in Philly the other day, you got to visit the penitentiary. Oh God, yeah. See, yeah. I've forgotten about that. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Yeah, on Halloween. How was that? Uh, yeah, creepy. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of cool. There was like a few few weirdos in there with us. Which was, we were kind of bummed out because we thought we were actually going to a, like a real prison. We were going to get to like meet like inmates and oh, stuff. Oh, so you thought it was still active. Yeah, yeah, about it. yeah. But it was a cool place, you know. Pretty, a um, lot of history there. A lot of misery. <laughs> you know, it's not the best place to go on a hangover. <laughs> well, I saw in your Facebook description that one of the band interest is neo-baboonery. Yeah. So first <laughs> off, to you, what is that? That's just a fancy way of saying stupid. <laughs> Behaving stupidly. <laughs> That's just some of the uh, people, the Oxfordians in our band, like to sort of create nonsense words. Well, for me, when I first came across that, that's the first time I came across it was through Folds. I just thought it's being ridiculous, having a good time, being stupid. Uh, so for you guys, what has been some of the neo-baboonery going on on this tour? <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. You know, um, neo-baboonery. You know, there's, you know, we toured with, uh, with Bare Hands, who are supporting us, and there was this band Kiev supporting us for a lot of the tour as well. So I think between the three of us, there's been some hijinks. There's been a lot of Smirnoff icing, you know, if you're familiar with the game of ice. There's been a lot of icing in sort of uh, in innovative ways. Jack, our guitar tech, who you can probably see just fishing over there, he, uh, he got iced from above by one of Kiev. Oh, no on a piece of uh, improvised gaffer tape tied around a uh, Smirnoff ice, so that was good. I don't know. And there's like probably footage of Kiev playing on stage with us the other night in, uh, in um, New Haven, Connecticut. That's kind of a prime example of neo-baboonery. It looks like a load of baboons on stage. <laughs> I don't know. You know, yeah. Like I said, it all blurs into one. Yeah. Well, I saw that Jack actually tweeted the other day that he had four burgers and two pizzas in the span of 48 hours. Yeah, I know. God, it's bad, isn't it? We live like like idiots, <laughs> like baboons. There's a lot of junk food, obviously, on tour because it's sometimes hard to find really good things to eat. So, what's been the best meal of the tour? One of the best things you've had recently? Uh, we had amazing Thai food in Houston. That was incredible. We had an incredible steak in somewhere I can't remember. Uh, oh, fuck, like, no, it wasn't Dallas. I don't know. Somewhere meaty. And then uh, had really good Mexican last night, actually. Awesome. Yeah. So. You know, I don't know, the junk food thing, you do just, you know, you, you can eat healthy anywhere now, pretty much, in America. And um, you still just want that sort of salt and sugar and fat when you're hungover. It's just hangover stuff, isn't it, really? I want to dive into what went down, latest record release. A lot of this album was about intimacy, rage, humanity. So what events inspired those themes or, you know, outgoing topics throughout the record? Um, well... I'm in the privileged position where I don't write any of the lyrics, so I don't. I get to like not answer that question. But um, I would say <laughs> the privileged <yeah>. position. <laughs> I'd say, um, yeah, I just just from our. I mean, the the last record, what went down, was written quite quite close, quite soon after the Holy Fire tour finished. So it's probably inspired by like all our experiences on that tour, you know, 
being away from home a lot, traveling a lot, you know, growing up, we all entered our thirties, you know, we all got miserable, <laughs> then cheered up again. Yeah, just stuff like that. Just, just as you know, we try and like not, I guess, you know, because I don't write the lyrics, but we try and write, we don't want to write about like being on the road the whole time because like no one can ever associate with that because no one does it. So I think we try and mix it up a little bit. It's always about home, really. I came across an article which was saying how you had quite a few shitty jobs prior to Full. So what would you say is the worst job you had before being in this band? Um, well, I was a waiter in this restaurant um, called The Hungry Horse, which was like a chain. It was fucking it was horrible. It was like I had to wear like a purple shirt, you know, like it's a really colourful place. Okay. Really Americanized actually, and it, considering it was in the middle of like the Oxfordshire countryside, it was a bit weird. But there's just stuff, you know, like people would like pour like a whole thing of vinegar over the table and think it's really funny and then like you know well, the chefs would actually like you know like kick someone's steak around the floor it's like one of those kind of places you know and then the, the, and then I'd have to serve it and the person would be like mmm this is delicious like compliments to the chef you know <laughs> like, it was a really horrible place <laughs> yeah horrible people as well I feel like the most important question have you caught anything at you feeling anything on the end of that line no I'm not really <laughs> doing a convincing <laughs> just, job of it's this. just it's right just, over there it's just hanging in the water there which is um it does look like a sort of dying fish, so maybe maybe a big salmon will come and get it. <laughs> I mean, I hope we catch anything. Me too, I hope we catch something. That, that island over there looks pretty good. I mean, come on, it's like you're a fish. Surely this is the spot, right? <laughs> I don't know. You've got to think like a fish. Think like a fish? Yeah. Well, just to wrap everything up, is there anything you want to leave with all of the Falls fans out there who will be viewing the interview? Um, yeah, I guess, you know, it's because like, we're at the end of it now, so... Thanks for all the support. Thanks for coming to see us. Thanks for listening to the record. Thanks for coming to meet us. Just everything, really. Just, like, keep it up. You know, we get lonely out there. It's nice to have, you know, some friends. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for, you know, coming all the way out here. Oh, it is my pleasure. And yeah. remember, to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time.